Isaac. And I'm Micaiah. We live we in Haiti. Haiti. Hey guys. Today we are gonna talk about solar with you guys. Living here in Haiti, it is a big blessing for us to have the renewable source of solar energy. And so we're gonna go up on the roof and my husband and our boys are gonna show you a little bit about our own solar panels and how they help us and explain it a little bit to you guys. Hope you enjoy. Today we'll show you our our solar panels, and it help and it and it helps us with the with a lot of stuff like we can like we can plug in our fans, char charge our electronics, watch TV. When I work with like when I I get to come up here and I I can spend time with my dad and I get to come on a roof, which is which is fun. Okay, guys, what is your favorite thing about having solar? Um, that, that, we can, that, that we get to watch TV. Okay, what about you, Kaya? I, I think the same thing as I did answer. Hi, kids. So today I kind of want to show you a little bit about how solar panels work. And so right here is part of our solar panel array. And we have eight solar panels in this bracket right here. And what, this, what happens is, is we have these panels angled up to catch the sun. Now today's kind of a, a cloudy day, so you might not be able to get a ton of solar energy today. But what happens is, is the sun shines down on the front side of these panels, and it, they're black little panels that collect all this energy and feeds it right here to this black box. And this black box then feeds it to wires, which then goes all the way down to where our batteries are. And that's how we have energy, is we use these panels to store solar energy in batteries so that we can power all our devices, our computers, our TVs, our refrigerators and freezers, and so that we don't have to worry about any kind of power going out because we know we always have the sun. Even on cloudy days like this, we are still getting some solar energy. So these are our front eight solar panels that we have to help power our house. And then they help us get solar power in the morning and early afternoon. And then these two right here, help us get solar power from the mid afternoon until the sun goes down. And these solar panels help us charge all that we charge our batteries so that we can have all the power we need. And I'll show you where these wires go to charge our batteries so that we can have electricity. So all those wires you saw from our solar panels all the way down to here and all these different boxes that you see here help us have electricity. And what happens is all those wires lead to this box and this box and that helps me control how much sunlight is going to charge our batteries which are right here this is how we get electricity is we use the sun's energy to go to the solar panels we control it through here and it goes right here to these batteries and it charges these batteries up and just like batteries for your phone for your remote control cars for your drones you have to charge those batteries fully and then they slowly drain over time. And that's what these batteries do. And so we don't have to worry about electrical lines from the power company or anything because we rely solely on these batteries right here. Okay, so there you have it guys. I hope that was helpful for you guys to see even a little bit about how solar helps our family personally. Um, it's one of the things that our organization down here does as well. My husband is a part of it and they go out and they, um, install these solar systems for churches and schools and homes because it helps them more than you could ever imagine from being able to just meet together and worship together longer because of having electricity to power light for them, fans for them. Um, a big thing is everyone here, uh, most of them do not have electricity in their homes to charge their phones or their lanterns or their radios. And so if the church has power, then it even brings in a lot of those people that maybe wouldn't have come to church beforehand and people come and they charge other stuff there and then they get to hear the gospel message and they get to be together with everyone. And it's really awesome. And then the students here are, you see students all, all the time on the roads and on the hills, just trying to get as much sunlight as they can to do their schoolwork at night. And so when the churches and the schools can have power electricity through solar power, then the students can come together in groups 
and they can, in a safe space, get their studies done, which is such a big blessing for them. Hey guys, if it's me and Kaya again. If you want to know anything about our, sol our solar panels and if you want to know anything else about how we live in Haiti, comment below. We'll see you guys later.